all right everyone my apologies for youtube i guess it doesn't seem to be obs ending my stream it's just every time i check youtube or every now and then i check youtube and it'll say stream is ended and i was talking for like five minutes <laughs> before i realized so thanks a lot youtube gotta i guess i'll uh that's a shame i titled that last stream uprising arms tier list and didn't even get to fucking talk about arms i just went off about the last eight classes for like 40 minutes and then the stream ended so and i really it was like yeah it, it cut out like just before 40 minutes so i think i got to talking about cannons and then it stopped and then i ranked orbiters before i realized so this is where we're at just picking back up and we'll go ahead and just start with the arms which honestly i guess will work out because i'm like damn i'm calling this the fucking arms tier list video i'm not talking about arms until like 40 minutes into the video so uh i guess i'll i want to label that one like arms tier list part one but then i'm not talking about arms like at all in that in that what's what's now a video so we'll see i'll uh for now this will be part two <laughs> we'll see so forgive me on stream ending and not having a chat anymore i figured i'd just go ahead and record the rest of this since that was like the second time i had to restart the stream it's getting late and i'm just like dude youtube come on bro anyway but anyway um yeah here, here are our notes for today so real quick and i i know typically i'd stop the uh, listing the melee power for a lot of these classes because really i think it only really mattered with claws uh, another class designed specifically for melee whereas stuff like staves and i think even bows yeah i did rank melee for but looking back i don't think i really needed to like if you're using melee in those classes i mean there's there's just the handful of options really you know and even with other classes like clubs they're gen they're all generally strong enough but like typically you want to go with range on that class and if you do want to go melee it's literally just the strongest one ogre and then the two right behind it also have mobility increases so ogre has mobility increase too or at least faster than or a club so there you go whereas yeah with arms yeah kind of like claws it's a class design for melee so it'd be a disservice to just rank only the range but range will factor in uh heavily just because like that's the struggle of this class in particular i mean with claws looking at them i don't think they really like you can pull up with some tiger claws typically and like not really have you just have so much mobility really that's the main thing with claws they had the mobility going for them over arms and then on top of just innately even longer range than arms typically because like they both they're both really short but yeah arms are really short um so claws in general i'll have to give it to them over the arms for the speed and the uh the range properties but yeah of course sheer damage output on the melee side of things yeah gotta gotta hand it to the arms and of course actually yeah arms generally have better homing capabilities than claws too and yeah those are the main ones i have to compare it to claws and arms because again they're kind of like in the bottom third of the or i guess of how i would break apart the weapon classes as far as range power like claws blades arms bows uh it has to be bows palms cannons and then yeah orbiters clubs and stabs so yeah there's that and then um real quick yeah i was gonna i was just gonna explain my placements for range damage i put on these real quick so electroshock for instance 61 through 6.5 61 is the most you're getting on the mono eye it's a multi-hit so it can 
phase through the multiplayer fighter and you can get anywhere between 61 and the last hit on the multi hit 6.5 so it's a uh, it's a little inconsistent if i was ranking it based on consistency it would be like somewhere in the middle but you could say the same thing about drill another multi-hit charge shot which will top out at like 45 on, again on the mono eye but um on the multiplayer fighter the knockback will generally be a little too much for all the multi-hits to connect but unlike electroshock drill can drill has enough homing to and, and speed even to loop back around kind of like eye track orbiters to keep connecting multi-hits so it uh yeah with these two they have the most potential for sure but um yeah they vary and then as far as more consistent range power goes yeah top of the class goes to volcano with the with 54 on the forward dash charge shot that's like fortune bow level and then it has the strongest continuous fire aside from and all standing continuous fire and um yeah just want to explain that real quick show off the notes here's the distance rankings and then of course melee is uh you know you can just look at upper dash in second place here for the it really i put it in second place for its overall melee power um it being the strongest in melee dash in the game and just having a piss poor melee combo just kind of averages it out just under taurus for me so yeah melee combo melee dash and then you can like i said figure it out with upper dash and then so on and so forth miscellaneous bowl arm has the highest overall shot cancellation Compact, fastest mobility, bomber, quickest, charge time, drill, strongest, or yeah, or yeah I think strongest charge shot homing, if I'm not mistaken. Because um, the multi-hits, the, uh, the rapid fire, I'm not really sure about the homing on those. Uh, I mean, they could be just as strong, but I feel like it would go to end all or maybe even a phoenix or a kraken in that area, but... Uh, you know it's it's homing it's really hard to that one's harder to gauge so yep starting with crusher arm which is let's see really i guess it'd be it'd, it'd be kind of hard to compare these distance wise because like sure it, it's nice that these two have the longest range especially compact because it's you know the most ranged based arm and then yeah, drill being right behind it is nice and all being right behind it is nice so like all the arms that excel in range gameplay being up there is really nice except for electroshock but like see there's not even that much of a difference though so that's the main thing it's pretty much just going to be these two standing out i guess and then yeah everything else is just kind of it's just too relative for me to take huge points off of crusher arm for like being beneath you know the middle of the road for range distance right but melee power yeah it's uh you know comparatively to its classmates it's like whatever but overall yeah I, i've been using it as the benchmark for the strongest melee in other classes and so i mean i could say just off of that it's not bad um like comparing it to say darkness but for instance i think it's actually stronger than darkness bow but then with claws it's outranked by by i know it's outranked by raptor i think but um or yeah at least i think but i, I think it might even be outranked by cancer i'm not sure but um yeah it being outranked by raptor of course means it's outranked by a bear um burning palm actually outranks it um who else? Knuckle Staff's actually weaker than it. Uh, for some reason, Boom's stronger than a uh, than a uh, Crusher Arm in melee, or at least I at least I think it is from what I remember. I'm not sure. It, it's it's relative though, that's for sure. And yeah, the placement on this for because yeah, I think the stream cut off before I could uh, talk about Orbiters. Um, look, look. Um, <laughs> Well, you know what? I still don't like these, but uh, 
I'll, I'll, I'll give uh, I'll give Nor benefit of the doubt. He uh, the way he was breaking it down to me in the comments on the last on the last video. I'll I'll, I'll hand it to him on the I'll hand it to him. And then um, yeah, I think that's it as far as like melee comparisons. Cause like I guess Craig no 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 yeah it would be Predator Cannon. And then um, yeah I think Predator Cannon yeah it's also it's also around pressure arm level so yeah it's uh you know even comparing it to other classes yeah it's not bad like yeah eighth in arms could be like yeah first in another in another class so that's nice and then overall range damage what i get yeah middle of the road so comparing it to its own class yeah it's like middle of the road and then overall, it's like middle of the road. So yeah, just a solid B tier weapon, I guess. And then if I had to compare it to First Blade, mm, it's, it's, it's really hard to, I guess, just because, again, range damage-wise, they're comparable. But of course, First Blade, you have to hand it to on the damage. And then uh, even, but even with melee, like, uh, you know, even though, yeah, Crusher is outdoing it gotta hand it to blaze just for more range i don't know comparing it now that i've got all the uh first blades on the list i feel like i can i feel like i can bump this up a little bit yeah just a little bit i'll put you in c still kind of 50 50 on it but i'll give i'll give first benefit benefit of the doubt because it's not like it's not like Royal Blade, which, because, like, First Blade, I'm just thinking is bad, but, like, I know I, I, I do kind of like it, actually, but, like, I'm just comparing it to everything else a little too harshly, whereas Royal Blade, I know it's bad, and I just explicitly don't like it. I would put it in F, but, it, like, Burst Blade exists, so fair enough. Um, anyway, yeah, there's Crusher Arm moving on to Bomber. Bomber is interesting like for some reason i don't know i think i was on some hipster shit like if you asked me a couple months ago i would put it like b or a but like that was only because i i was thinking everybody was sleeping on this shit but not really <laughs> it's not it's not all that it's, it's strong and um let me see i know i know it's a cut above crusher in melee but uh Bomb. Oh yeah, actually yeah, that's kind of <laughs> that's actually really bad. Okay, never mind. Weakest overall uh, range damage. So and range distance. Wow. So pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, and then but quickest charge time. So I mean that's nice, but you know it's no Magnus Club. It's no Fairy Orbiters. It's no Arm Palm. So, I don't know. The damage is there, but yeah, range properties are just, I mean, they're intentionally piss poor. What can I say? So, it's got the charge time going for it. But then, but the worst part really is, is also it's con continuous fire is really bad. Like, which you wouldn't think it, you would need it just because of how fast you're getting a charge shot. But still, like, there's times where, like, it could come through just because of the homing on it but then and then even the range will be just enough but then it's just so weak it's just so weak like you're getting 28 out the out the forward dash charge shot yeah you, you, you're getting yeah what are you getting off of uh the continuous fire actually fucking oh my god 2.9 off the st out the standing really damn 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 bro that's tough in like nine max on the oh no 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 wait oh no that's even worse it's even worse oh, man that's tough that's tough yeah bomber arm definitely uh yeah definitely not the uh the pinnacle of this class look and really i don't know i don't know why i had this pulled up look i, I ain't gonna lie i had this pulled up thinking i was gonna like use it to reference some of the arms i guess but like it's just it would be it would be way too much work to try to toggle between this and actually like mentally stay on task so i guess uh real quick let me pull up you know the few idols i do have of uh some arms yeah here we go yeah 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 i thought i had crusher in here for some reason but anyway <laughs> what else i think actually yeah bowl arm is next in the alphabet on the tier list so let me see uh yeah, 
arms next. So yeah, this this weapon. I uh, now again not a, not one I play with a whole lot. In fact, I've probably gotten it as Angel more than I've actually like picked it. So that's all I can go off of. And yeah, definitely not my favorite idol description. I hate this has potent chart. Like what does that mean? Is it strong? Does it have a, does it have good homing? Is that shot cancellation? It has both of the latter two, but yeah, it's just so weak. It's just whatever. And then it, of course, it's an arm, so it has no range to even really, like really make anything out of that. But the continuous fire, like it's it's gimmicky. It's cool. Um, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with it though. Like it's not like a. It, it doesn't feel like bouncing shots on other weapons, like uh, with cannons and such. It's just kind of. I don't know, like the description says it's playing with like toys and such, so yeah, I mean that's definitely what it feels like, so I don't know. It's just a weird weapon. It's got the homing, it's got the highest shot cancellation in the class, but it's just so weak. It's even weaker than bomber arm, it's like yeah, whatever. These two weapons yeah, these two these are two weapons with like such you would think like such good niches and but then yeah them being arms and those niches being range based but then their other range properties lacking is just not a good mix so yeah anyway moving on to the next range arm this one now this one i have not made my mind up on i've been leading up to this thinking a s not sure um Cause it's it's, it's annoying as hell. Like it's easily probably my least favorite weapon to fight against. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, sure, the trajectory on the homing on Gemini. I mean, slip shot, eye tracks, the unavoidableness of the backward dash on like this shit, the innate slip shot on fucking Capricorn, the looping shots on Atlas. Brawler Claws is Brawler Claws. Ninja Palms is Ninja Palm. Right? Like there's there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of nonsense in the game, sure, but out of all the shit I don't like dealing with, honestly, none of them are that bad. Except for like Bumblebee. Bumblebee's like, yeah, but, but that's that's a power, you know what I'm saying? So that's different. Weapons though, don't really like by themselves. None of them really get on my nerves like this one. Yeah, I definitely don't like seeing someone like playing dead in the corner with energy charge or whatever the fuck and just pelting the shit out. I mean, like it's an arm. So like, yeah, you know, the continuous fire hits a little harder in exchange for like slightly less or like slightly less higher firing rate, I guess. But like this, this shit has a crackheaded firing rate on top of like the arms, like big round circular uh, continuous fire hitboxes the sound effect just it, it feels like it's just smacking the shit out of you but like it's actually like damaging too uh, comparing it to something like uh violet palm or even headshot claws the continuous fire while not as rapid like you're not seeing as many let's say numbers on screen if you were in the training room but the damage per hit is just adding up so much and then it's still a really really good like especially for our the arm class, the continuous fire rate is just really good. So, and and of course, it has the fastest mobility in the class to go along with it. So it can abuse walking. It's uh, it's it's really nice. That's like the only thing though. Is this, that's the only thing. Even the charge shots, are just, uh, excuse me, the charge shots are just kind of whatever. And then um, I guess at least it's not as weak as bull arm in melee, but that's not really what you're going for um where did i get overall range damage wise yeah i think it was i, was say, I think it was closer to the oh, okay i was gonna say i think it was closer to the bottom but like that's off of its forward dash charge shot i think so that's not bad but or i, I say i think i remember now I'm like I'm talking like I didn't make the fucking list <laughs> like just earlier today or actually that was yesterday but anyway um yeah yeah it's just it's just it's definitely the most annoying weapon for me but um thinking about it yeah meta wise uh yeah it is really good I'm just 
I, I forget if this thing's banned or not, though. I forget. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, it's, it's kind of like Angel Bow for me. Like uh, where, sure, it's it's good, and like it's really good at what it does enough to be broken. But then it's just kind of like whatever everywhere else. Like you could still compete with it with one of these weapons, like just fine, really. Kind of like uh, yeah, that's really how it makes me feel. Kind of like Clefable being in Ubers when it's ranked. U U for some reason, you know. But uh yeah, there's a yeah, that's compact arm. So drill arm. You my friend. Let's see, drill drill's kind of a weird one. I definitely I feel like I can't put it A and like now that I'm at the end of the tier of the series, it, you know, some of these is pretty obvious. Like if I had to run through these real quick, B B B B B S A B honestly like but i'm gonna and no worry I'm, I'm gonna go through each one and explain why but like yeah just offer it yeah like that's none of, yeah none of these are like gonna be surprising me or none, none of these i should really be getting to like drill arm thinking like hmm is there really something that makes me want to put it above b like i already know there ain't so yeah but I, you know, I, I do want to reference this at the very least, even though I've already explained this this much, right? So, is that it's not bad, and um, I mean, yeah, it's definitely not the premier melee arm for sure. But yeah, it's it's not lacking, that's for sure. But that's all I can say for it, really. Yeah, everything uh, everything about this weapon, everything special about it, I think I already talked about when explaining the uh, the range damage ranking with its homing capabilities yeah it's just uh yeah the homing really is just that good in tandem with the multi-hit especially so yeah just just off of that and then at least the damage output ain't bad either so yeah and then yeah b b b b let's see s not quite Mm, like half of me do half of me do want to put this shit in SS because like I, I really kind of like the yeah kind of like the continuous fire on brawler claws I'm like what were they thinking w giving this shit so much shot cancellation on its on its charge shots like dude well I mean it's it's like just it's just fucking staff level sure and like that's nice but and I'm not really worried about it taking the niche away from bowl arm necessarily, but I don't know. Five being the highest on a lot of these, you know what I'm saying? And like I, I let drill have it. Like it's 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 not it's not too crackheaded like fucking Taurus already is. But yeah, like six is supposed to be special. Why do you just <laughs> why do you just have that like in tandem with? what like the second overall strongest melee in the game like good grief yeah it, it's pull-up game is so strong <laughs> that's the main thing it's it's pull-up game is so strong like yeah obviously yeah like if we're talking real pull-up game like it would go to this but honestly we'll, we'll get we'll get to upper dash in a second because like that thing's actually like versatile as fuck but um yeah, there's there's nothing like getting pulled up on by this. I mean, samurai blade, brawler claws, even raptor claws. Those are one things. But this, this, yeah, this is the last, literally the last thing I want to. I, I'll take a team with these, this, and this pulling up on me before this. It's just mostly because it's annoying. Honestly, I, I I've seen it so much over the years. Like, oh great, tower. Kind of like when I see. I track orbiters at the start of the game on the bottom screen and I see the shot homing quick charge energy charge slip shot and all that shit go up yeah as soon as I see fucking Taurus arm I see the armor and the lightweight and the bumblebee or the even worse the trade off I'm just like oh yep I'm, I'm, I'm CJ again like here we go again you know what I'm saying so maybe that's what's kind of yeah maybe maybe that's what's kind of got me teeter-tottering between putting it in s and ss but gosh it, it i guess you could 
really and, and really thinking about it thinking about it i'd say i'd say maybe and I, the main thing is i'm comparing it to magnus club which honestly looking at it i might be giving a little too much credit i might be giving a little too much credit because like these these two are something special for real magnus club is strong but like you don't you don't have everything these two going for them so i'll i'll, I'll let those two be the only ones hanging up there for real but yeah taurus taurus kind of got me wanting to put it up there but yeah comparing it to something like magnus again the range the range is pretty comparable and although with magnus even you could pull up with the with the range projectiles offensively same thing with taurus but you actually have the shot cancellation utility to actually like defend yourself from incoming fire as well and then the way it's backward dash moves slowly like you can actually pull up behind it with cover or as cover so it's so it's it's even got that much like yeah it even has a fucking crusader blade backward dash going for it on top of the shot cancellation six like you know you do not need all that with melee just stronger yeah yeah with melee just behind fucking ogre club like that's like come on bro i don't know what they were thinking with this with this weapon like really i'd say i'd say it'd be fine i'd say it'd be fine because uh the range properties like yeah the slight lack of homing and the damage output like it's whatever but the hitbox size and the shot cancellation it's exactly it's, it's like what you would want out of out of ogre club but and i'm having trouble finding for some okay there it is yeah with the fucking <laughs> with the fucking blood splatter <laughs> in the background <laughs> uh yeah yeah it, it actually has uh what ogre club wants going for it because like yeah ideally you'd want to hide behind an approach with ogre club's charge shots too but it's generally just too slow and you're not getting them frequently enough and even when you are able to like somewhat pull it off mobility wise even it'll still be too too slow whereas Taurus Arm can actually do that. Um, so can Crusader Blade too, of course. But like, this is actually like threatening to Oko you with the melee dash. So, yeah. But you know, it's, it's Taurus Arm. I can't go on about it all day like uh, I did with Ninja Palm. But that was more for like that was more for me like to vent about Bumblebee, I guess. Just because uh, yeah, I really don't like that shit. I never and I never actually like got to express that so forgive me on that but anyway <laughs> that's uh that's taurus arm and I, I scrolled back down here looking for the the next arm but i forgot i had already moved all of them up here so yeah that's taurus arm upper dash uh of course yeah like with it it, it, de it depends it depends like uh you asked me back in the day i wouldn't think this is all of that um just because of how hard it one because of how hard it can be to get a melee dash and then when you do get it like arms can have like two different sour spots on their shit so it's just it makes it not even worth it half the time but uh depend but depending on i want to say the meta and really i get but really current meta you know there's a there's a lot of different ways to play this game but Depending on who you're playing against, I feel like it can it can be good. It can be it can improve or be a detriment. Um, I'm thinking specifically about wars of attrition, where no one's dying because everyone has plus four evasion and bubble B, and whoever gets the first kill just has to you know run away with the lead pretty much. In those type of games, I see. A lot of upper dash and i think for good reason like yeah it just you do the same thing evasion and bumblebee it up except like those type of games you also you see players stacking up on defense and health modifiers too but yeah made the melee dash on this shit does so much damage um yeah you only have to to get that one stock lead yeah you really only had to connect with this shit a couple of times so i kind of see what people are going for with that and then actually you know back in the day yeah just thinking about you know that was me being more narrow-minded but yeah just thinking about its melee properties i would say eh, like not that great but 
honestly, yeah, I was like super sleeping on its range gameplay. It is not bad at all, which is kind of funny. It, it's it's just it's just so weird to me, like how Bomber and Bowl get done dirty like that, and then fucking Taurus and Upper Dash got, especially Upper Dash, just they just had such fire range gameplay, like fucking. What did, I, what did I get for it overall damage output wise? Yeah, yeah, it's like top five. Yeah, it's top five in its overall in its overall class for range damage output. So, what did I get? Thirty nine. Stand. Oh uh, well, no, I think it was thirty nine off of the forward dash charge shot. But the standing charge shot, it's like akin to Ninja Palm. Whereas, you you don't want to. I think you can run either shot homing plus three or no shot homing and just the shot homing or boost power uh one or the other i think it's i think it was just shot homing plus three or hell you can just leave it as is and just have shot range plus three um but yeah it's uh a standing charge shot is kind of like ninja palms where without a whole lot of homing to where it's immediately hooking in to its target you could actually take advantage of the slightly less innate homing to, for the for the charge shot to hook around corners and such. And it has a lot more utility and gives the upper dash in particular a lot more versatility because, yeah, that's kind of Ninja Palm's main thing. Whereas upper dash can just do that while you're fishing for a melee dash and you can throw shit on your on your charge shot properties like paralysis freezing or any other status that might help connect with the melee dash reward and yet yeah, you got uh what's this i lifted listed here uh 54 off mid here okay yeah um I, well it was what it was what uh yeah i was getting 33 off of the off of a mid-air target on the melee dash so when um because you can't test it out on the mono eye, of course. So when I go into the multiplayer lobbies and we'll just wait fighting against the the uh, the multiplayer fighter. And again, this is testing base value 100 weapons too. Uh, or not base value 100, but just no range stars and no damage attributes, right? So um, yeah, that's 33. No, I'm sorry. 21 off of the backward dash and uh you, i was getting about 24 on the mono eye but you know it's a multi-hit and it can vary going into going into multiplayer but yeah it's about 21 ish off the backward dash and 33 off of the off of the uh off of the melee dash on a target that's already mid-air for a total of 54 so that's just something i kind of wanted to note um and that's that's uh i think that was the sweet spot i tried it time and time again i was getting like 13 and single digits off of the melee dash attack and 33 was the most i got off of a target launched into the air from the backward dash so um there's that for anyone that's interested i guess um but it's not really i, I guess that's not really a huge like that's not really why i'd put it in in a tier you know that's uh it's, it's not like a pandora claws backward dash where it has the setup for it and everything going for it um yeah it's just you would just have to like solely rely on your own ability to land that charge shot and actually like connect a decent enough sweet spot which is still only like a third of the power of the uh grounded melee dash attack so i'm not giving it too much points for that but still the uh the range properties are really nice and i mean strongest melee dash attack in the game and again for the uh for the more war of attrition based metas it, i can definitely see why it's used more but you, you can say that for a lot of weapons sure uh and, and I, I haven't really brought that up till now but uh yeah it's just uh it's, it's, it's upper dash. I mean, what can I say, really? Um, and then going on to, yeah, everything else I just put in B, starting with end all. So end all, what did I get for you overall? Yeah, like, yeah, top five overall 
range damage output strongest standing continuous fire it's not the uh the thing about its continuous fire it's not the rate or the speed that you're worried about but the damage per hit really because uh oh that's not that's not what i wanted to do okay there we are yeah it's the uh it's the damage per hit that you're really looking at because yeah something like compact arm is going to rack up really fast with uh how rapidly it's hitting you but and and you know there's other weapons that i kind of you know didn't give a whole lot of credit for for having li like a uh, crag lance cannon for instance right not having a you know twin bellows or even ball cannon like rapid fire rate but the damage per hit though you know what i'm saying but like even still though the damage per hit i wouldn't say makes up entirely it makes up the damage difference sure but like the other properties like the shot speed and just how many hitboxes are on screen is also really valuable so if i was like looking at specifically continuous fire i'm you know i'm just not really looking at crack and lance that's just an option in between charge shots if i'm like really desperate you know whereas yeah you can make a whole playstyle out of continuous fire on ball or twin bellows right whereas uh but with end all i would almost say the same thing as i did with a uh, crag lanch but it's actually just rapid enough so like it's not like and it, it doesn't have to stop um after a little while kind of like compact arm has to do whereas it's like really rapid for a little bit stops for like half a second or, or quarter second or whatever and then it's added again whereas end all arm it's just a constant like it's slow and the travel speed is slow but um if you ever just take a look at the animation for the uh for the standing charge shot like the the whole pattern that's in front of the the arm whenever the whenever the little purple ball is released I mean, it looks like Pit's supposed to like stop and be launch and be preparing for like a whole, like a uh, actual special move or some shit. But it's just it's just one of the many little uh, balls of death coming out of his standing continuous fire, which is kind of crazy. Because again, the the firing rate is nothing nothing to write home about, but it is the strongest per hit on. Um, on standing continuous fire in the class and the rate is not that bad i've uh i, I typically try i've typically try mixed on a. oh i don't even have that shit fuck me <laughs> god damn it uh i was about to try to show it off if i had it um but yeah i i typically like might try mixed on something like a uh, end all but i've actually recently tried just all range and it, it's not bad at all the charge shots are okay they're nice um but the continuous fire is the homing on it and just the rate of which they travel it's it kind of gives me like curse palm vibes but although it's continuous fire isn't as streamlined or even as fast the homing is there and the damage is there and like low key i feel like could serve uh maybe, oh i was i was gonna say like some sort of anti-evasion purpose but i guess not like uh i guess not anti-evasion i can't really call that anti-evasion like if there was an anti-evasion meta or playstyle, i'm definitely not like all the way up on that shit but as far as like what i like to do to combat it which is just try to have multi hits or as many hitboxes on screen as possible. Uh, you know, just depending on what weapon class I'm using or who I'm fighting against, right? Uh, yeah, it's definitely not. It definitely doesn't feel bad. Like it definitely feels like you can at least burn out somebody's bumblebee with by just standing in one spot or hell, even just walking, spamming any end all is continuous fire. I feel like I'm kind of harking on it a bit too long here, but like. I was I was kind of sleep on it for a little bit and then I just tried it out. I'm like, yeah, this actually ain't bad because the idle description is telling you to watch out particularly for its side dash, which sure is also really nice because yeah, you got those same balls of death in a nice like spread 
scattershot motion but uh the damage per hit doesn't compare to the uh, to the standing charge shot or the standing continuous fire i mean and it's really i'd say the best part about it is just how you can mix up the different dashes in between it so like yeah you could do standing 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 and then at the end of the last one just move forward for that forward dash continuous fire which does like 25 per hit uh, i think like at base but um yeah, this is, I, I just can't understand how strong this thing really is, really. Um, yeah, like, it's nothing too crazy, but, yeah, I, I do really like it a lot. It was always one of my favorite weapons, but, yeah, having revisited, having revisited its uh, gameplay, or its range gameplay, excuse me, uh, more recently now, yeah, it's, it's definitely up, up there for me, for sure. But, uh, yeah, nothing too crazy, just because the shot speed, charge time, movement speed, it's not the strongest in the class so yeah same thing with kraken arm it's uh it's shot speed is even slower than crusher arm which you know it's not it's not terrible but uh the homing on it is what where it really counts like you can actually kind of like kind of yeah kind of like uh it's like an in-between between compact and and uh end all for me where like at least it's standing continuous fire where you can kind of get away with spamming it either in a walking motion or just letting it it actually the homing on it is actually good enough to where uh because end all's homing is a little too strong actually whereas uh kraken arm and especially the way be the way it's uh standing continuous fire stream travels like the arc in which it travels the, tra the trajectory i mean uh kind of like upper dash and ninja palm without a whole lot of shot homing or really probably just shot homing plus three without the homing boost power actually allows you to it actually allows the shots to work around corners and uh and walls and such to snipe people on the other side um it makes you just more of a threat without having to approach and keeping that that uh i forget the advantage state that you call it but yeah it's, it's like in other shooter games too you know whoever's got the uh the first hand advantage or like who's in a better position to react to somebody coming in their field of vision right because uh, you you can generally generally assume if you can see them they can see you right so it's uh it's got that going for it and um of course yeah the second strongest melee in the class at least in general because uh yeah not counting not counting upper dash is melee of course but or yeah melee dash attack of course but yeah third and the third overall in the class yeah definitely not bad at all especially you know it's it's arms so third for cracking yeah that's like uh i think that's probably stronger than um than uh burning palm it's rivaling samurai blade so yeah, definitely not bad at all but yeah it doesn't have of course you know samurai blades uh uh, melee attack speed and such so can't give it too much credit on that one but yeah definitely not a bad weapon at all and it's it's range damage output ain't all that but it's really its properties and the fact that um yeah, the homing like what i said about its homing and its range actually ain't that bad either let me see uh because like for a kraken arm when comparing it to say crusher arm or hell even compact arm what's where are we getting like 30 okay well yeah 31 on it's actually yeah that's pretty insane <laughs> 31 on its standing continuous fire whereas kraken's getting 22 which i think yeah yeah phoenix compact and then 22 on kraken's standing continuous fire yeah that's the oh no i'm sorry well drill arm has is, is next in line but see drill arm you're not really using for standing continuous fire and then there's bowl arm which i guess is kind of its niche ish but as far as like what's more contemporary yeah i definitely got to hand it to the kraken arm on that but anyway um phoenix arm yeah phoenix arm again yeah nothing too crazy it's just kind of like uh these these arms because they're not compact arm in terms of range gameplay or nor taurus in terms of melee and then like upper dash kind of has like some of the best of both worlds actually 
then yeah the rest of these just kind of yeah just kind of fall in line with just not being as bad as these i guess so yeah but phoenix arm of course yeah i mean it has the longest range out of the class the continuous fire properties like the multi hits ain't bad at all i think it's got the most uh multi hits on its continuous fire next to next to electroshock actually let's see yeah so it's got that much going for it and the overall damage i put ain't bad either so that's something but uh, yeah, it's just nothing too crazy it feels like uh it feels like a palm if um the continuous fire stream traveled a little slower but kept the homing i guess the damage output too it's got innate burning on this charge shot um the melee isn't terrible actually but uh yeah it's definitely not the arm to, to go for on that one but yeah not bad overall and then uh volcano arm another arm with innate burning and i think well yeah yeah i know we got it at the strongest for range damage output but melee okay yeah it's still top five so yeah, it's not bad either so yeah that's all i can really say for those and yeah just a real quick uh skim through the notes real quick just make sure i'm not really forgetting anything i guess and yep that's uh that's my whole tier list fucking what like five six months later <laughs> so yeah I'll, I'll probably list i'll probably title this uh arms part two for um i just i, I, I don't know well we'll we'll see how i go about it as that's actually really annoying to think about i mean i guess it's kind of nice to have it split up in two because like this is already 40 minutes so yeah i would have had like a the whole hour and a half recording but like shit that's fine by me honestly I, I wouldn't have minded it's just annoying having a title like arms tier list and then not even being able to get to that shit but oh well um yeah that's uh yeah that's arms for you man that's the whole tier tier list so looking at it I'm not really, yeah, I, I wouldn't say I'm really conflicted about, well, some of these, of course, yeah, like, uh, a Taurus, I almost want to put in SS, but not really, not really, these, these two are just that, the, the top two are just that ridiculous, um, nah, like, I, I'd, I'd say, uh, Really, yeah, just the main ones I don't play with, like something like Somewhat Staff or mm, I guess, I guess. <laughs> that's like the main one, yeah. And like you know, these, these shits, you'll pretty much never catch me playing with either. Yeah, I mean, I actually gave Hawkeye a chance. Like I tried it out, same with Needle Palm, but like yeah, um, yeah. I, I'd, I'd say I'm pretty firm on all these placements now, so. Yeah, as always, appreciate y'all tuning in with me. Sorry about the uh, split up between the streaming session and the recording session. It's just how I had to do it, I guess, if I wanted to finish it without YouTube fucking up the rest of my shit. So we'll we'll see about uh, streaming from here on. I'll, uh, uh, I mean, I, I enjoy it so far. I don't get a, a whole lot of uh comments while streaming but like the ones i do get are, get are very engaging so it's uh, it's different i like it so far i want to keep trying it if youtube's not being a bitch because obs is working just fine right now so anyway as always appreciate y'all tuning in i'll be back uh whenever for my next video idea i got some more kid Icarus shit lined up but uh might take a break uh try something else out we'll see but um as always like i said hopefully it ain't, hopefully it ain't gonna be another high rotor long like six months two years or whatever the fuck before my next video so as always appreciate y'all tuning in and i will catch y'all next time peace